Hey guys, this is Matt Hart. It's uh, 1.30 p.m. local time, so it's mid-afternoon. I'm skipping lunch here so I can uh, do a quick live writer uh, walkthrough with you. I just want to show you the tool that I use to post to uh, the Simplicity Squared blog. Um, it's been really, really helpful for us, and uh, since I've shown the other guys, uh, Nathan and Finley, they've, <laughs> they really enjoyed using it too, and they had never heard of it or, or uh, seen anyone else use it or heard of anyone using it. So. I think uh, I'm going to give you a really, really quick tutorial on where to find it and how to how to use it effectively. So if you just type into uh, into your uh, Windows Live Writer, it's that easy. Uh, you can go in here now available for download. Uh, it's fairly recent. You can download it obviously right here. So you're going to download it. I hope you know how to download and install it. But once you've done that, and again that's Windows Live Writer, uh, just Google Windows Live Writer and it'll pop up. So once you've done that. Uh, you're going to install and you're going to open it. And the first thing it's actually going to show you is it's going to show you, um, it's going to basically walk you through an account setup. So it's going to look something like this. So it's going to say, you know, what kind of blog do you use? And of course, you're going to choose your blog. Uh, we use the WordPress with a, just one second, here we go. So, uh, yeah, so we're using WordPress with the thesis theme on uh, the Simplicity Squared site. Obviously customized, I highly recommend it. Maybe another day we'll do a walkthrough on that. But uh, So you're basically going to put your address in. And this is the username and password you use to log in to your admin. Now, before you can actually put any of this stuff in, you're, you're probably going to get an error. And if you do not have WordPress set up, so this is the WordPress admin page. I'm assuming you've already been here before. Then uh, if you have this WordPress admin page, you're just going to come down to settings and writing on the left side here. And then you're going to click this XML RPC. This is just what um, this this publishing protocol is what uh, Windows Live Writer uses to interact with your site. And, and once you've done that, it'll basically connect to your site, and you'll be able to you'll see something like this. So you can actually see that it's even sort of taken a uh, part of our theme. So it's sort of taken some of the uh, the CSS, and it's allowing me to just see what it would look like. Um, So now when I preview this, it's actually going to show me what that's going to look like on the site. Uh, this isn't published. If you were to pull up another page and go to the Simplicity Squared site, you'd see that it isn't published. It's, I'm only seeing the uh, I'm only seeing sort of a preview of what I've been doing. Uh, so you can edit in this form. You can actually directly jump in and edit the the source of the file. Um, generally. Uh, I, I, st I stick it out in this view and you can see over to the right side here you just have like a ton of a ton of different things that you can do of course you've got all of your your headers and your, your general coding it's also a great um, it's great to have a, a spell check here so that you can just you know fix what it is that you're writing and if you go up here under the tools you can check the word count of what you're doing if you're writing a guest post for somebody else um, you could just grab the actual I mean, you could jump over to the source, and I, I quite frequently, if I'm writing a guest post, will just grab everything I've written and jump back over. Um, and, you know, send that to them directly, so they can paste it directly. If they can paste it directly into their WordPress uh, WordPress um, entry. So, here's another cool thing you can do. So you can actually post a draft directly to the blog, so somebody else can look over the draft before they before you publish it. Which, based on all the typos you see on uh, Simplicity Squared, you can tell we just don't do. Um, you can pull up, uh, you can go, sorry, I did that very quickly. You can come up here, you can go to open, and you can actually open drafts you are hosting locally. You can open stuff that you've recently po published, or it can actually go and, and sort of retrieve posts or even pages directly from your site. Now, anything that you open, so I'm opening, I'm opening something directly from the site. No, I don't mind if it writes it. And you can see, so I, to I did this thing totally in Windows Live Writer. And you can see that um, you know I can import videos without any issue. I can affect the margins of the videos just by going to custom margins. Um, so you can pretty much change anything. Of course, you can drop your uh, your read more line in your read more breaker. Um, but what's important to realize too is that anything that I change on this site when I republish it, it's just updating the site. It'll update the on the WordPress form. It'll update when it's been when it's been changed. So you can also see down in the bottom here. Uh, you can actually add um, 
you can actually add uh, your categorizations and your and your tags directly to the post. So you can sort of see that like you know it's a brand new site that we're building, so we're bare on the we're bare on the categories, so we're trying, sort of still trying to figure out what we're doing. But we could go through here and add those, and of course tag it up. You can also add a publish date, which is handy, and you know it's a WordPress feature. So uh, yeah, and anything that you post will jump directly onto your site. It's relatively instant and you can actually go through, there's actually a lot more sort of advanced stuff that you can do. You can go through and post to multiple blogs. Um, you can use the blog this features which are, are features of your browsers. Um, you can have it set up to automatically ping the servers whenever you whenever you post and you can download plugins. So if you click add a plugin here you can sort of see that they've got different plugins that you can use to just sort of enhance your blog posts and these just directly drop right into um, right into Windows Live and of course can be published from there so Twitter notify I mean th there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff very cool so anyway there it is I totally uh, I suggest you check it out and at least give it a shot it's got a pretty small footprint there and what that means is it doesn't it's not heavy on your resources and uh, yeah thanks guys this is Matt Hart signing out